that's great. Get somebody you can rely on, somebody you can depend on. They're fantastic. we're ready to go now. I think we got everybody here after the storm. Hopefully it's not storming when we go home. Uh, my name is Rich Berlin. I'm president of the Wadsworth Older Adults Foundation and I just want to thank everybody that's here tonight. Uh, this is always an awesome time of year for us to recognize people that have made great contributions to the community and to the Wadsworth Older Adults Foundation and we just really enjoy having the opportunity to do this. Uh, I have a few thank yous. Uh, before I turn things over to our MC, but um, first of all, I, I want to introduce our board, and if I could have any of our board members that are here, if you wouldn't mind coming down and just standing in front of the stage, I would appreciate it, please. So the Wives with Older Adults Foundation, basically what we do is we supplement uh, the, seniors, the Suprema Senior Center. Uh, we raise money to supplement things that they need a lot of times what they want. Recently what we have done is the pavilion out there. If you've seen the pavilion, uh, the last thing, the last big thing that we did was the awning out in front so that when our seniors come in inclement weather that they have a place to stand outside waiting for a ride and they don't have to walk through the rain or stand in the rain. Um, and we redid the cafe as far as the furniture. So we've done a lot of things, and that's done through our professional friends, donations, volunteers, and these people right here. Um, it's a working board. Uh, they work very hard. When we decide there's something that we're going to do, we don't really have anybody to give it to but us. So we, we work hard. These folks work hard, and um, I just really, truly appreciate them. I think the only reason they keep me around is none of them like standing up here and talking in front of anybody, and that's pretty much what I do, is talk. So we have Annette Canone, Annette, Annette is the vice president. Terry Nicholas couldn't be here, but she's the treasurer. Stacy Reese is our secretary. We have Jim Dahl, if any of you know Jim, I know he's not very popular. <laughs> we have um, Kelly Fogel was here earlier, but she could not be here uh, for the start of this. Rich Homan is a board member. He was going to be here, but he is ill. Anita Monroe, Rachel Rexroad, Aggie Simmons, Tom Stugmeyer here up front, Karen Thompson, and then Jenny Young. And Jenny did the video that you saw. But how about just give these guys a hand? They do a great job for our seniors. Thank you, guys. Hey, also. Special thank you, Lori Wilkinson. Lori does a tremendous job for the seniors. Tireless, works hard. I will tell you, she comes to all of our meetings. She attends every meeting. She attends um, whether it's a, it's a 12 days meeting or no matter what it is. She advocates for seniors. She truly cares about our seniors. And she does a great job and she works hard. And I just want to say thank you. I'd like a hand for her too, please. Thank you to all of you for attending. I want to thank the presenters that are presenting here tonight. And I also want to thank Mayor Lawbaugh. Uh, Mayor Lawbaugh is here again. Uh, she comes and presents, I think, every year. Uh, Mayor Lawbaugh comes to anything we ask her to come to. She shows up to things 
and, and truly cares about what's going on in the senior center. She comes for whatever reason, even if we don't ask. She truly cares about our community, works really hard, and I just appreciate the fact that she's here again and she's present tonight. So thank you, Mayor Laba. All right, I'm about to turn it over to someone that gets paid to talk. Um, Ray Horner is our MC for tonight's event. Uh, Ray is the morning host for WAKR, and he has been since uh, 2000. He just told me now that I think he said he's the vice president now of programming, and he is also currently the play-by-play -play voice of the Hiram College Athletics. And I believe Ray has spent his entire career in radio. Ray and his family live in Wadsworth, and Ray has always been a very supportive, very supportive of the Wadsworth community and supportive of us. And he does a great deal of volunteer work, and we are pleased that he has volunteered to be our MC tonight. So how about a warm welcome to Ray Horner. Thank you. Uh, yeah, indeed, uh, my whole uh, professional career has been in radio in the last 25 years uh, right here in Northeast Ohio at WAKR Radio in Akron. Um, came from Erie, Pennsylvania, if any of you folks know uh, that area. Uh, that's the market I was in, but we, we came here, interesting enough, and I know we're here to do this, so I won't bore you too much, but 26 years ago, when I had the uh, job offer to come over here, we came over and scouted communities on where we wanted to live, because to be quite honest, we didn't know a whole lot about the region. But as soon as we came into Wadsworth, uh, we fell in love with it. Uh, we rented a house initially to make sure, and by 10 months in, we bought our house, and we've been here the last 25 years. So I thank you as the community for really welcoming us, and we love it. I've had four kids come up through the school system. I was just telling Rich that, uh, hard to believe it, that I have two twins now going into high school, and it seems like just yesterday my twins were being born, and my sons graduated from Kent State, and my daughter just gave me my first grandchild about five months ago, and how fast it goes. Matter of fact, when I first met Rich, Rich was the athletic director, I believe, of the high school, and we've done a lot of things. So I appreciate you folks having me here today. By the way, uh, Rich was mentioning the Suprema Senior Center. Uh, September 11th, by the way, I'll be over at the Senior Center. We're going to watch a Guardians game together. I'm going to do a little preview talk, and we'll have some fun over there together. Lori asked me to come on over, and I'll be up there at the Senior Center. So if you have some time, stop on over there on September 11th. It was just 24 hours ago. I was up in Detroit. Uh, I took a busload of seniors up to Detroit for the Guardians-Tigers game. As a matter of fact, yesterday, uh, raising some dollars for the Salvation Army. Rich mentioned we do a lot of, and I do a lot of fundraising for different uh, communities, and the Salvation Army very near to me of what they do 24-7. So we had a wonderful trip, but September 11th, mark that on your calendar. I'll be up at the Senior Center. 2008, the Wadsworth Older Adults Foundation started the Senior Advocate Hall of Fame event to recognize individuals and organizations who have made a significant difference in the lives of of older adults in our community. There is an actual Hall of Fame wall, as you know, located at the Suprema Senior Center's hallway where you can come to admire the past inductees which are listed in the back of the program here this evening. So tonight we're going to do the honors and we're gonna recognize four outstanding inductees, but we'll first start with a special recognition award for a past inductee, Medina County Office for Older Adults. And to present that award, I'd like to welcome back to the podium and to the microphone, our good friend, Rich Berlin. Thank you, Ray. Uh, the special recognition award is something that we just started last year. Uh, we have, I don't know how many uh, entries we have in our Hall of Fame, but when we recognize people for our Hall of Fame and then they continue to do great things and they continue to do things that stand out, we created a special recognition award so we could recognize those people for what they continue to do and, and, and is ongoing for us. So our special recognition award this year is gonna to go to the Medina County Office for Older Adults and accepting that award tonight is Jessica Curtis, the cafe manager. If you could come up, Jessica. So 
So the Medina County Office for Older Adults was previously inducted into our Hall of Fame in 2013, but they continue to do great things for the seniors in Medina County and here in Wadsworth. The MCOOA is the number one place that the Suprema Center refers seniors to. They operate senior centers in both Medina and Brunswick. They have 35 employees, including home delivered meal drivers for the county. They offer monthly county assistance appointments at the Suprema Center here in Wadsworth. And most recently what they did for us is they took over the cafe. We were struggling to find somebody to do the cafe and everybody knows a social event isn't a social event without food. And it is so important to have that cafe for all of our social gatherings and they have stepped up run the cafe, and they've done a great job. So if you could just please join me in congratulating Medina County Office of Older Adults for receiving the Special Recognition Award. Thank you. I just wanted to say a quick thank you for everybody in this room and all of us, our seniors. They've given us such wonderful support at opening a restaurant, which we've never done before. Um, all the positive feedback um, during the challenges we've found opening the restaurant were greatly appreciated. And we look forward to being with you guys for a long time. <laughs> and you can't beat their breakfast, right? <laughs> all right, uh, we now have the privilege to honor tonight's four Senior Advocate Hall of Fame inductees. And our first inducting is Dan Chafin. To present the award, we would like to welcome, as Rich mentioned, Wadsworth Mayor Robin Laba with us. Well, it is truly an honor for me to be able to introduce to you this next inductee. Um, I had the privilege of swearing in Chief Chafin uh, when he first started with the city many years ago. And uh, I will have to say that when I first met him, uh, I thought, we've got a special one here. And that has certainly come to fruition. <clears throat> I've had the privilege to watch him develop as an exceptional officer and certainly as an exceptional leader. So uh, Wadsworth is very fortunate to have him. He is truly a good person, and he has a servant heart. And he has come by this honorably. Uh, he credits his parents as his inspiration. Uh, they are community-minded individuals as well uh, and have worked uh, in, in, on behalf of their community uh, his whole life. Uh, his dad has actually spent decades as a firefighter in Monroe Falls and is currently the fire chief of many years. Uh, he credits also the events of 9-11 uh, that uh, happened when he was in college, and it, that inspired him to pursue his current field of service. He's been with the Wadsworth Police Department since 2010, uh, graduating from the Ohio State Highway Patrol Police Academy. And it wasn't too much longer, another six years, that he was promoted to sergeant. And then a few years later, he was the Detective Bureau Supervisor. And then 2021, uh, he became our chief of police uh, just after 11 years with the force. Uh, early on in his tenure as chief, um, he held his first Coffee with the Cop. And it's a program, obviously, at the Senior Center. Uh, he invited other officers to attend with him as well for casual conversation with seniors. And it was a huge success, uh, such a success that it's uh, come back quarterly ever since. Um, as an aside, if you want to catch the next one, <laughs> you can see him in action on Wednesday, August 7th at 11 a.m. Uh, he's brought many other additional educational opportunities to our seniors on various topics, uh, such as uh, senior driving safety uh, and, and avoiding scams. Uh, he's also obviously a very important resource to our senior staff as well. Uh, you will see him. He's a very present individual at community events and is very visible and very accessible. And I think that really um, shows well and, and it shows his commitment to the community and shows how he cares about the community because he wants to be accessible and he wants individuals to be able to come to him and to speak with him with any questions that he might have. 
Uh, we're very fortunate to have him as an advocate for the community, but particularly tonight to, as such an advocate for our seniors. So uh, without any further ado, Chief Chafin. Thank you, Mayor Lobo. That was a, a very humbling introduction, and I very much appreciate it. Um, thank you, everyone, tonight. Uh, I would like to introduce uh, my special guests. I have my family, uh, my wife, Beth, my two daughters, Allie and Leah, and then I have my family in blue. Uh, I've got Jenny, Sergeant Pettit, Detective Allenby, Detective Sergeant Shizmenos, and Lieutenant Dorlin. Uh, and I have said this before, but I truly mean it. Uh, it really is the honor of my life to represent those men and women. Uh, those are the men and women that are solving cases actively on the road, the ones making a difference, uh, and it's just an honor to represent them. And as I look this way, we also have our newest member, uh, Officer Rospert, who has just recently graduated from the Ohio State Highway Patrol Academy as well, too. Uh, and it really is. And I know in the city we talk about it's a special place, and we offer so many special services. Uh, but the other thing that's special about the city is the individuals. And as I'm up here tonight, uh, I would like to, to echo some earlier comments and, and say uh, to Lori, we wanted an opportunity to interact with the community. Um, if the senior center wasn't here, that opportunity wouldn't have existed for us. And when we came, you organized it, and you had people there. And when we came, we had an absolute last, which almost makes me feel a little guilty for, for receiving the award because we have continuously said we have so much fun when we come to it. Uh, it, it doesn't feel like work or that we're doing anything because we've, we've made friends. We've got to meet people like Jim. Uh, and without coming to these things, I, I, I wouldn't have seen this gentleman in a coconut bra and hula skirt at the beach-themed uh, senior, senior event. Uh, but it really has been a joy for us. We've gotten just as much out of it uh, as, as we're here talking about tonight that, uh, that we've tried to give back. Uh, but it's people like that in our community. Uh, it's the fact that the Senior Center exists and that the programming exists. And it's not just, um, you know, somebody coming to, to give a presentation. It's people sharing meals together. It's people developing friendships together. It's people playing games together. It's also the other services, the, the taxes and uh, medical appointments. It's all of those things that happen those types of things don't happen everywhere, and they don't happen by accident. Uh, and so it really is an honor to be here. I'm very, very humbled to, to be recognized tonight. Uh, but I would like to use that time to say I think it really is the Senior Center, their staff, Lori's team, and, and this community that really is what makes this special. And I think they are also deserving of just as much recognition and honor, too. So thank you very much, and I very much appreciate it. Congratulations again. By the way, uh, after the mayor made the presentation, uh, join uh, the mayor. She's going to be at the Suprema Senior Center Monday, August 5th, which is next Monday, with muffins with the mayor at 10 o'clock, updating everyone on the city of Wadsworth and certainly the happenings. And <clears throat> a selfless plug, she's going to be on my morning show. Uh, tomorrow morning at 8.40, so I'll throw that in there as well. And if I didn't say it, uh, 93.5, 1590, WAK. <laughs> Time for our second inductee, the Wadsworth YMCA, and it's being presented by Jim Dahl, 2021 Leatherman Lifetime Achievement Hall of Fame Award winner. He serves on the Wadsworth Older Adults Foundation Board and also chairs the Wadsworth Senior Citizens Commission. Jim? You know, it's, it's really an honor to present this award to the Wadsworth YMCA because I'm a member and I know what a great place it is. I was there since it opened up, so it's a, it's a fantastic place and they really deserve the honor. So I'm really humbled and honored to do this. The Wadsworth YMCA came to Wadsworth and this facility in 2012. Their top priority was to keep seniors active. 
The Wadsworth Suprema Center came to Wadsworth, I was in Wadsworth, they came to this facility in 2013. They moved from downtown Wadsworth. And their, their object was to expand their programming and get more members. I'd, I'd like to say something about this facility right now. A lot of people may not know this facility, but this facility has the high school, the YMCA, uh, SUMA with their uh, uh, physical therapy and sports medicine, Wadsworth TV with its offices and, and studio, and the Suprema Center. It's a fantastic place. Whoever come up with this idea and this concept is a genius as far as I'm concerned because the place is fantastic. Everybody there is, supports one another for the common good. So in this facility you got health programs, education, socialization, exercise, and communication. Everything in one place, so it's a fantastic place. So these two organizations came together, the uh, YMCA and the Senior Center, both had common goals to help the seniors out. And uh, some interesting facts about the YMCA and the Senior Center. The walking track, when, when the Senior Center moved to Wadsworth and when the Senior Center came up to this facility, the uh, YMCA came up and says, if you got members that are not YMCA members, you can use the walking track a couple hours a day. This was a fantastic and a nice gesture by the YMCA to do that for us. So in 2013, we had 215 individuals use that walking track for a total of 1,390 miles, 1,390 times, I should say. So that's a great, great thing to happen for us, for all the seniors. The YMCA also is the most utilized YMCA in the, in the Akron district. It has over 9,000 members. It's now open 24 hours. And they tell me a lot of the members that come in at four or five o'clock in the morning are seniors. And the surprising thing to me is 24% of the members are seniors. That's fantastic, that's great. 24%. And when they, in 2013, uh, Gary Lake, a member of the board there and a member of the staff at the YMCA decided to start a walking challenge. It was a two month thing. We could sign up people for the senior center and give them a goal of how, many, how, how far they could walk. Last year, we had 162 seniors sign up. They did 25,861 miles. If you figure it out, it's 159 miles a person. So, and then they have an interactive program. They have the uh, uh, summer day camp. Their kids in that summer day camp, they came to our, our senior center on July 4th, or around July 4th, about 30 of them, and gave a great program. It was fantastic. And then this past Monday, they were there doing coloring and, and games with seniors. So, and the, the other thing that the, the uh, Y does, they work with us on the health fair. This is the biggest program we have at the senior center. Over five, 600 people come every year and they help it out, help do it out. So, the, the Senior Center, all, I mean, the Y also does silver sneakers programs. This helps out all the seniors. If you don't know what a silver sneaker program is, it's funded through the Medicare and insurance companies, and they pay for your membership. So this is a win-win situation because it's keeping the seniors active and may get down on the medical use, on the medical problems too. They, in, in, uh, they got nine silver sneaker classes, over 200 seniors for participating in those classes. Nine silver sneaker classes a week. They got 19 warm water arthritis classes and open swimming classes, over 225 seniors a week. They got uh, pickleball, which is really popular, super senior uh, series where they have competition with other Ys in the, in the area. So what makes this Y so special, in my opinion? It's not the equipment, it's not the facility, it's not the programs, it's the staff. Their smiles, their service, their respect, their concern, that's all the seniors want, to be respected and concerned about. So, it's a real honor to get the, to, for this YMCA to get this award because it's helping out all our seniors. They're staying active, they're, they're aging well, they're, they've got active mind and bodies, they're social, they're positive, and, they, and, and they're independent and with dignity. 
The biggest thing about, I think, a senior is staying social. There's nothing worse than to be isolated, but you gotta stay social and motivated. And this YMCA does that. They're a fantastic organization. I wanna say, for all the seniors in this area, thank you. And now I'd like to introduce the Executive Director for the YMCA, Amy Phillips. Thank you so much. We are deeply honored to be inducted into the Senior Advocate Hall of Fame. Collaborating with the uh, Suprema Senior Center and all the other community partners um, has truly been a great experience and we um, look forward to growing the relationships with everybody. Um, just quickly, I wanted to have my, the, a few of my staff stand up and also Zach here is with us. Um, so if you guys could stand up because obviously a lot of the work that we do, um, comes from my staff, so thank you. Uh, at the Wadsworth YMCA, we, take, we do take great pride in the uh, diverse uh, uh, programs that we offer older adults from, I know Jim already mentioned several of them, but the Silver Sneakers and other senior group exercise classes, all of the aqua aerobics and uh, warm water classes that people will line up like it's Black Friday for, <laughs> to sign up for on registration day. Um, all sorts of other stuff like the, the walking track and uh, personal instruction for uh, fitness in the uh, fitness center. Uh, there's, all, there's a kind of a non-formal coffee club that meets in the lobby in most mornings, um, ad hoc euchre games that they've come up with, ping pong, and of course, you know, the newest thing, pickleball. So. Um, but beyond those activities, again, like Jim said, uh, we also at the Y um, really value the social interactions that we are able to offer the seniors. And that is why I asked Zach to come up here with me, because uh, for more, uh, many of the morning members, I am not the face of the Y. Zach Shelley is the face of the Y um, in the mornings, and all of our older adults absolutely love him. Uh, his charisma and dedication and like learning all of the seniors' names and just greeting them every morning and saying goodbye when they leave um, has really made a huge impact, I believe, on a lot of the older adults that we have come in to the YMCA. So thank you, Zach. Thank you. Uh, so, yeah. Hey, Zach. Thank you. Thank you. So again, uh, thank you, Lori, and um, look forward to future, like I said, partnerships with you and just appreciate this award. Thank you very much. Our time for our third inductee, Elaine Rosberg. The third award is being presented to you by Lori Wilkinson, director of the Suprema Senior Center. She's worked at the Senior Center for over 15 years, has a passion for serving seniors, and you've heard accolade after accolade being thrown Lori's way tonight. So let's have a nice welcome again for Lori Wilkinson up at the stage. Thank you. So it is such a privilege to be able to recognize Elaine Rosberg, quite an honor. Um, Elaine, when I think of her, I think of the word dedication. Um, she is somebody that we could all learn from and aspire to be. When she and her husband retired to Wadsworth back in 2000, they um, retired here, they built their home, and she was looking for a place to um, give back to because she loves to serve. And I actually brought the out volunteer application she signed in no on November 30th, 2004. So almost 20 years ago, she decided to volunteer at the Senior Center. And when she checked what days is she, was she available, she circled Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and she was available, she checked morning, afternoon, and evening. <laughs> and she quickly, she used um, her skills from retiring in the baking business to work the front desk. 
And almost 20 years later, guess who's at our front desk tomorrow at noon, from noon to four? Elaine Rosbert. <laughs> she, ser she has served um, so well. And then, so she started that um, back in 2004. And in 2005, the Ohio Department of Insurance, they put out a plea in Wadsworth. They, um, Medicare was introducing Part D for the first time to be effective January 1st of 2006. And they needed volunteers to help. Um, they're called OSHIP volunteers to help um, seniors navigate Medicare and give an unbiased view. And it takes hours and hours of training. And Elaine heard about that opportunity and she answered the call. And she actually went through training. At that point, it was, um, took place in council chambers at City Hall. And she went through hours of training and started helping as an OSHIP volunteer. And all these years later, um, it, is, it is so neat. We have Sarah um, Florimont all the way from Columbus with the Ohio Department of Insurance here to honor Elaine. And she told me that Elaine has literally helped counsel thousands of seniors, um, bene Medicare beneficiaries with their Medicare. And she is one of the longest standing OSHA volunteers in the entire state of Ohio, which is very impressive. And Elaine is still to this day, she, um, she helps uh, seniors at the senior center with appointments um, year round as seniors turn 65, she can help them. And then also during open enrollment, October 15th through December 7th, every single year since um, 2005, she's at the senior center multiple days a week taking appointments during that open enrollment time. And it has been such an asset to the Suprema Senior Center. When we were the Office for Older Adults downtown, she was in a little tiny room upstairs. You had to take an elevator to get there. Um, now you will find her helping seniors in our media room. And it has been an honor and privilege um, when I came on in 2009, and we worked very, we've worked very closely. I was a volunteer coordinator, and um, Elaine, you are amazing. Congratulations on being inducted into the Senior Advocate Hall of Fame. Thank you for all that you continue to do and what you do to serve the seniors in Wadsworth. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you, Lori. I would like to thank, first of all, the Wadsworth Older Foundation for this award. I am so honored. And thank you to Lori, to Tammy, and Amy, because they're the glue that hold it together with the rest of the other volunteers. Um, Tom and I lived in Lakewood for 40 years and raised our three children there. I retired from banking in 2000 and we moved to Wadsworth to be closer to family because family was very important to us. When we moved to Wadsworth, the only people I knew were Dan and Belinda and our two grandsons. Boy, that was tough. And I soon I got involved in the Senior Center and let me tell you, that began a new chapter in my life. I was beginning to new, meet new people and just, just seeing people and recognizing their faces and talking to them was, was great. I became a volunteer for the Ohio Senior Health Ins Ins Insurance Information Program, which is also called OSHIP. Our training was held, like she said, in City Hall. We sat in the City Hall chambers for a whole week. And let me tell you, Dan, I sat in those chambers before you did. <laughs> <laughs> At this time, I'd like to thank Sarah, too, for coming up from Columbus tonight, and all those from Medina that showed up, Sean and the rest of you. Thank you. Being an OSHA volunteer has been very important to me. Just meeting new clients and having one-on-one -on -one personal time with those people and understanding their needs and helping them, they are so appreciative. They really are, and I really enjoy that, and I, I plan to continue to do it as long as I can, and I hope I can keep going with this. But now I want to say a few words about my family. 
who have been so caring and supportive of me. I have three children and eight grandchildren. And the grandchildren between the ages of 20 and 30. And I'm so proud of every one of you. Uh, Mark and Elaine live in Delaware. Mark's a deputy with the Delaware County Courts. Their children include Elise, who's a social worker in Anderson, South Carolina. Colleen, now this is a triplet. They have triplets. So Colleen is an RN in Georgia right now, and she's getting married October 12th in South Carolina. Cameron and Ava got married June 14th, Flag Day. And, and Cameron is a fire, fireman, okay? Grant and Ava have moved to Wadsworth, and Grant is a firefighter, or a police officer, I'm sorry, Grant. He's a police officer right now. And so I, raising triplets was kind of a toughie, but let me tell you, I was there to help out. Now you probably all know Mark, or Dan and Belinda. They own the Hilliard Rouser Funeral Home. They have two sons, both who have chosen to be doctors. Daniel, Daniel and his wife, Summer Chetha, are both doctors, and they're doing their fellowship right now in Houston, Texas. Thomas also chose a medical field. He's a dentist in Lewis Center in Columbus. And before I left tonight, they sent me a bouquet of flowers, white flowers with three red roses in it, which is very touching. Thomas has his own office in Lewis Center, and I was in Columbus a couple weeks, or down in Cincinnati a couple weeks ago, and I chipped a tooth. And I called Thomas, and he said, oh, Grandma, don't go to your dentist. He'll charge you too much money. <laughs> Come and see me. So I did, and he said, now you may need a root canal. You may need it just fixed. So I went to his office. He took me in, and he said, oh, I can fix this. He fixed my chipped tooth, and I was back on my way to Wadsworth in nothing flat. Um, Cheryl is a teacher in Cincinnati. Her daughter Gabrielle is here tonight from Pittsburgh, and she's going for her master's in education in Pittsburgh. Her son Antonio, the youngest grandchild I have, joined the Marines this year. He's stationed in, in uh, Dam Neck, Virginia. I was able to go to his graduation this time in Par this year in Paris Island, and that was a great experience. That's my family in a nutshell, and I'm so blessed and so proud of each and every one of you. I love you guys. Now, would you all please stand up? Thank you. Thank you. Well, that's a tough act to follow. Time for our fourth inductee, and it's into the Senior Advocate Hall of Fame, and that's Laura Toth. And the last award is a special Leatherman Lifetime Achievement Award being presented by our good friend Rich Berlin again. So let's welcome Rich back to the stage. Thank you, Ray. Like you said, this year's Leatherman Lifetime Achievement Award goes to Laura Toth, and if Laura would please come up here and join us. Laura is the director of the Medina County Office for Older Adults and has worked for Medina County for the past 27 years. She grew up in Sandusky, Ohio. You ever fish out on Lake Erie? No, a few times. Okay. I I'll fish Ohio walleye, though. Yes. I love to fish, so. Uh, I didn't know she was from Sandusky. She graduated from St. Mary's Central Catholic High School. She received her bachelor's in science and education from Bowling Green State University and then went to get a master's of social science administration from Case Western Reserve University. She has served as the director of the MCOOA since 2011. She has been instrumental in develop, developing comprehensive programs for older adults at the Office for Older Adults. These programs cater to individuals of all ages and includes activities that, such as patio picnics, as well as promoting senior wellness through lunch and learn programs and daily exercise options. Laura has been unwavering in her commitment to ensuring the safety and well-being of seniors across Medina County. 
She greatly values the support of the Medina County taxpayers, made possible through the Medina County Human Services Levy, which has allowed the office to expand and better serve the senior community. In 2023, though, and I mentioned this earlier, Laura partnered with the city, met with the Wadsworth Older Adults Foundation. As I said earlier, we were struggling to get somebody to do the cafe. We had been through another person, another group running the cafe. We were having trouble, and Laura stepped up. She came to a meeting. We met, we talked, and she was excited about doing this, and she made it happen. Uh, so not only did she set it up, before she had it set up and before she got started, she attended a couple of our meetings. She came to a couple of Wadsworth Older Adults meetings. Even after they got started, she came to a couple meetings. She answered questions. She took suggestions. And sometimes those questions and suggestions maybe came across a little bit as criticism. She handled it very well. Um, but was just very excited about doing this and understood the needs of our community, understood the needs of our senior center and the people that attend our senior center. And that cafe has just been, and the way they run it and the way it has gone, it's just been an incredible addition to the senior center. I think Jim had said it, and I'm sure Lori has said it, our membership is up. Um, we have a lot of our seniors involved in programs, but a big part of our membership being up is the cafe, the way it's run, because someone else even mentioned tonight, uh, when we're social, we want food. We like to sit around, have some food, talk to our friends, talk to our family. So that was accomplished through Laura and what she did and bringing that cafe here. And I just wanna thank her for that. Uh, she probably had no idea how important that was to us, but I'm sure she has a good idea now. Um, obviously, all the things that she has done, she has a servant's heart. She has served for 27 years, and we thank her for that. So if you please join me in congratulating Laura Toth as a Leatherman Lifetime Achievement Award winner. Thank you. Thank you all so much. I wanna thank the Wadsworth Older Adults Foundation and Suprema Senior Center, um, uh, Tammy, Amy, and, and Lori. Lori and I go way back and it's just great to work with um, your organizations and to be so supported um, here in Wadsworth. Um, being a social worker is not an easy profession. You're, also, you're often doing things no one else wants to do for people that are sometimes forgotten. I've had the privilege of working with Medina County seniors for the past 18 years of my career. Um, during that time, I've worked with a group of people who have made quite a difference in the lives of older adults within this county. From the employees who work at OOA, can you guys stand up, everybody? And even if you're a past employee, Don, if you guys could all stand, <laughs> stand up. Thank you so much. <laughs> The employees um, that uh, we get to work together every day, uh, my uh, advisory council uh, of aging and disability, the community all over the county, communities all over uh, the county, county administration. I've always had great support and um, great ideas from those around me, and we always work as a team to accomplish the plans that we make. Um, all of those plans have benefited uh, seniors within the county. I'm really proud to work for the county and to be the director of Office for Older Adults. In the past 13 years, we've grown from an agency who provided Medina senior activities and Title III federal programming into one who still provides Medina activities, as well as Title III programs, uh, which is a federal program, nutrition programs and transportation services. and. Um, other supportive services, but also we've added benefit services, short-term case management, uh, the coordination of Brunswick activities out of the Brunswick Rec Center, um, adult protective services for the county, that's a team that we have that investigates um, elder abuse, neglect, and exploitation. Um, and then, of course, the addition of the full-service cafe here at the, the Suprema Center. We responded to the senior needs throughout the COVID shutdown, um, and some of those upstart programs are still going on today. 
Um, I get to lead an outstanding group of dedicated employees and it is, is my honor. Um, I also want to thank, uh, Rich kind of stole my thunder, um, the taxpayers of Medina County for the passage and then the renewal, renewal of the human services levy. Having dedicated funding for seniors and senior programming throughout the county was a career goal of mine when I started. I just really wanted that, that secure funding, and the taxpayers have responded um, by passing the human services levy in 2019 and then renewing it in uh, 2023, so that is fantastic. Um, it's great for the agency, and it's especially great for the county's ever-growing senior population. Um, uh, also, I helped to start the Medina County Senior and Adult Foundation, which is much like the Wadsworth Older Adult Foundation dedicated to helping um, seniors and the programs of Office for Older Adults. Uh, and the county has greatly benefited. I work with a group of go-getters on that foundation um, who really have the needs of seniors in the county as their center, and I thank them. A couple of them are here tonight as well. Thank you, Marcia and Micheline. Um, I've been lucky enough to work with outstanding community members who uh, are very dedicated public servants on many projects, and I stand on the shoulders like of great women, including Amy Lyon Galvin, um, who was my uh, supervisor for a time, um, Nancy Likens, who could not be here tonight, um, and Joyce Giles and Cindy Snyder, who have passed on. All of them have dedicated so much of their lives to helping those in need, and particularly older adults. Um, finally, okay, I'll try and get through this paragraph. <laughs> I'd like to thank my family and uh, friends for their years of support. I have a strong support s system of friends, both locally and a really great group of old fr friends from college. I count myself blessed for that. I grew up with two sisters who were cheerleaders, and they taught me to speak up and get my point across. That's a nice say way of saying we're very loud. <laughs> my mom and dad taught me to work hard to get results, and my mom shows me how to fight every day as she battles health issues currently. My children have been understanding when mom had to be away or had late nights, and I thank them so much. They're just wonderful young adults. And last but not least, thank you, Dave, for everything. Thank you guys so much. A lot of thank yous here tonight. And what do you say, uh, that completes it. How about a nice round of applause again for our inductees into the Hall of Fame? A big thanks as well to Wadsworth High School for hosting the event tonight. Rich uh, led the charge in that. Big thank you to, uh, for that. Don't forget there is a uh, cafeteria celebratory reception coming up in just a couple of moments, so please join us out there. And again, big thanks to Suprema Senior Center staff, Wadsworth Older Adults Foundation for making this event happen this evening. Thanks for making time and thanks for honoring our wonderful Hall of Famers here today. Thanks for coming tonight. You are watching WCTV, Wadsworth Community Television.